Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This video is all about the little clipping, this horrendous phenomenon happening to you all day long as a Logic user. And you hate it when your favorite virtual instruments or plugins do this to your audio. Here's an example. So you see the gain is right, but just a bit, a bit high so that the signal tends to clip at some point. It's absolutely normal and obvious with a plugin such as Microtonic from Sonic Charge. And I highly recommend that plugin. But nevertheless, um, that's, that's what happens uh, most of the time with this kind of plugin as it's a bit unstable it sounds a bit analog you see what i mean and you need to fix that clipping problem as soon as possible i have a solution for you and i have actually a few of them the first one is the old school one that's the pre logic 10 uh solution let me show you here in my distortion i have I know, we are talking about distortion. We have the Bit Crusher plugin. You see here, it's as simple as that. As you can see, my default patch into Bit Crusher is really clean. You have a clip level to zero dB, the drive is zero dB, resolution maximum, down sampling is to minimum, and the mix is to 100%. And I put the Bit Crusher mode to clip Look at what happens. So the clipping has stopped because the clip level here limits, well, soft clips everything or hard clips everything at zero dB. It's barely audible. Uh, I mean, you really have to push it like this. Here. You can hear it, but let's do it that way. You see, and my signal will never get over minus 1.4 dB. That's the bit crusher option. On top of that, we have, well, fat effects, if you know it. File Effects is a fantastic plugin originally from Camel Audio. This company uh, was taken over a few years ago by none other than Apple, who included the whole code and the team into the Logic team. And here is uh, File Effects, better known as Camel Fat back in the day, but now uh, File Effects into Logic. And here is uh, what it does. Actually, I did exactly the same thing, except that I put the limiter. Now, there is a big uh, debate about whether you should limit or uh, clip your signal. I would say instead of over limiting, over compressing your signal, clip it intentionally, especially into the digital world, it's probably better. Um, I'm gonna show you a, a f another example here by just raising the volume of microtonic a little bit. And we're gonna bypass fat effects first. See that it's, it's horribly clipping, of course. So now I'm going to enable this one. If I do this, of course, I get more digital clipping and it's horrible to my ears. And I don't like this, but look at the signal. It's not clipping on the, on the meter anymore.
I would say go for the hard clipping and here is the trick actually. Put your signal to 0%. And whatever happens, your whatever happens, your signal, even when the mix is at 0%, your signal won't clip anymore. Uh, you have to be a bit careful with the signal, with the incoming signal. And that's something you can uh, easily check uh, with, for example, um, a metering plugin. Let's see if I have one here that might be that might do the trick. Such as, for example, uh, Span by Voxengo. That's completely free, but that, that could be also a Logic plugin here. Uh, metering utility metering here. And we have a level meter. Could be a level meter here if you want. You see that the signal is really, really, really badly clipping. Let's put that after fat effects so you have a better. So it doesn't clip anymore. That said, always remain careful with uh, with the uh, incoming signal. That's my first thing. So instead of hard clipping your signal just like this, which is exactly which is exactly what you want to avoid, just make sure that the signal is not too hot by raising it slowly but surely. You can even just. See what's going on. So it's still clipping a bit. I can reduce it. And here I'm gonna enable fat effects. And here we go. That's what I would do. That's I, I wouldn't call it transparent clipping, but actually it sounds transparent. And uh, this is what you hear that matters and not what what the meters say, but metering is also very important in this case. So uh, let's recap a little bit. We have fat, we had fat effects here, hard clipping, the mix to 0%, input 0 dB, output 0 dB to remove the clipping. And on top of that, we have the old school way. If you're a Logic 9 user, by using Big Crusher. And that's, that's what I like the most. So let's disable it first. Let's make it deliberately clip here just a little bit. Ah, this is frustrating when it happens. Well, once you enable Big Crusher, Boom, clipping's gone. You can even smash the signal a little bit, but it doesn't compress, it clips the signal, which is in many cases much better than just over compressing your signal. And if you're careful with the incoming signal and your settings, it will sound very, very, very clean, I promise. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, don't hesitate and hit the subscribe button and even tell you the bell one next to it. Uh, I see you next time, same place for another video. Have a nice day, bye.